let's talk a little bit about market orders and limit orders. This is a question I get quite often in terms of which kind of order should I use? What are the benefits of one versus the other? So let's jump into a few quick things real quick guys on this subject. So market orders versus limit orders. First, let's define a market order. So a market order is a buy or sell order to be executed immediately at the current market prices. As long as there's, you know, willing buyers or willing sellers, market orders will be filled. And market orders are used typically when certainty of execution is a priority over the price of execution. What that means in plain English is people will tend to use a market order if they're just trying to get out of a position immediately. This typically happens when they're at a loss and the trade is coming against them and they're just desperate to get the hell out of that position. They place a market order saying, hey, I don't really care what price I get out at, just please get me out immediately. So according to Investopedia, which is where I got this definition from, a market order is the simplest type of order. And it is, guys. If you want to buy a stock or you want to sell a position, to simply click market order buy sell is the easiest kind of order, but for me, I think it's the worst. We'll look at the limit order here. A limit order is an order placed with a brokerage you know, on your platform to execute either a buy or a sell with a set number of shares at a specified limit price or better. What that means in plain English is that a limit order, whether you are buying or selling, is an order where you are specifying the exact price that you either want to sell your position at or you are setting the exact price in which you want to enter that position. If a stock is trading at $3.50 and you set a limit order to get you into that stock at $3.50, you're not going to get filled at a penny or a dollar more. The limit is that order. $3.50 is the most you are going to pay for that position. So with a limit order, we can set in stone the price we want to exit at and sell our position, and we can set in stone the price that, hey, this is the price I want to get in at not a dollar more. Here's why I never use market orders. In my opinion, it's an easy way to get screwed quickly and can, you know, using a market order can actually dig into your profits or if you're at a loss, it can result in a bigger loss. Here's what, here's what happens guys, you know, when you set a market order, let's say that we're looking to get into a position. We want to take a position in Tesla. If you say, I want to buy 10 shares of Tesla and you just place a market order, you're going to get filled at whatever price, you know, some seller out there is trying to sell their shares for. And what can happen is because you're not specifying the exact price that you're willing to pay, you can end up overpaying. You know, for example sake, we'll say Tesla is trading at $300 a share. I don't know the exact price, but we'll say it's trading at $300 a share and you want to buy 10 shares. Well, if you set a market order, even though it's actually trading at $300 a share, there's a lot of people with orders to sell their positions at 305, 310, 320. And because you're not specifying and putting a limit on the price you're willing to pay, when you buy those 10 shares at a market order, there's no telling who's gonna come and sell you their shares. There's no guarantee that you're actually gonna pay the $300 per share that Tesla is truly worth. You may end up buying shares off of someone trying to sell it at 305, 310. You get your order filled instantly. Sure, that's cool, but you end up overpaying sometimes. You know, the system is not there to work for you. Big money has orders way above the ask price. They're going to come in and gobble up your buy order immediately. So you can end up overpaying. And what happens is you enter a trade and you're already at a loss. You just paid $310 a share for something that's only worth $300 a share. And you know, that might be an extreme example, but you guys get the point. And the same thing when you're trying to exit a position. Let's say you got 10 shares of Tesla and it's trading at three, you know, you bought it at 280 and now it's trading at $300 a share. And you say, okay, market order, get rid of my 10 shares. Because you're not specifying, you know, the price you want to sell those shares for, there's orders all over the place to gobble up shares of Tesla. Even though it's trading at 300, an algorithm, a computer, or a big money can come in and boom, and they're gonna buy your shares for 295. 
they just got a bargain and because you didn't use a limit order or specify hey this is you know this is the limit i'm not willing to sell these shares for anything less than 300 you know you just took a hit on your position you just lost some of your open profit for no reason you ended up selling below the actual market price so understand when you use a market order a big money buyer whose order is already in place or the algorithms that run our market nowadays will buy your shares at the lowest price they can. So in my opinion, using a market order is almost like leaving it to chance. And in my you know, opinion, I don't like leaving anything to chance. So the reason I prefer to use a limit order, whether I'm trying to get into a position or close a current position, is that I can absolutely guarantee the most I'm gonna pay and the exact price that I'm gonna sell for. You know, so this allows me to actually calculate my position sizes properly, my risk and potential profits properly. I'm not leaving it the chance and just throwing my order out there, hoping someone's fair with me. Setting limit orders allows us to define our risk, set the trade, and in the case of a swing trade, you can set a limit order and just set it and forget it. That's why, me personally, I prefer limit orders. I like to define my risk before even taking the trade and knowing the exact price I will pay upon entry and the exact price that I would pay or sell at this allows me to calculate risk and potential profits better. I don't like using the market orders because you will get screwed, you will lose open profit, and you will get filled at an even greater loss than necessary in a losing trade. So in my opinion, guys, I would prefer the limit orders, and I suggest you begin to use limit orders over market orders as well.